Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make underglazed pencils out of porcelain and mason stains. It's a relatively easy mix, you just have to make sure you use a dried porcelain. In this case I'm taking an old bag of Coleman porcelain, it's a high fire porcelain and it has, generally speaking, all porcelains are basically 50% kaolin, 25% custard feldbar, 25% silica, and sometimes a little bit of bentonite. So we're going to need some porcelain, some mason stain, a mixing device, a little cup, and some water. And anytime you're using dry materials, it's very important to use a dust mask. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Get my cup out. The basic recipe is like this. You're going to have 100% porcelain, and you're going to have 10 to 20% mason stain. So I'm going to go ahead and take, just make a really small batch. I'm going to go ahead and do 10 half teaspoons. Okay, so you can see I have 10 of those in the cup. And I'm going to take some of my black mason stain. I'm going to do about 15%. It's important to dry mix this material. Always wear your respirator or in a very well ventilated area. Okay, so I figured out a good amount of water is basically about 30% or so if you're mixing by volume. So I'm going to do one, two, three. I'm going to let that absorb a little bit. Sometimes I do a little bit more. With this little amount of material, it's very easy to, uh, to dry it out. Having a good mixing device is pretty critical. I'm going to let that absorb just a moment. You can see I just made this one a little bit earlier. I made a black one and a yellow one. And already I can make marks on the table. Envision this being the bisquare. Kind of fun. After it dries, you can really lay into it and um, make some beautiful marks. Alright, so I'm going to just mix this thoroughly. I'm going to go put out a, a board. I can smash this out. You'll see there's some, there's going to be some streaks. Get all my material on the table. That's pretty empty. And I'm just going to smash this out. It's kind of like a palette knife. You can see the little white streaks. That's the uh, little chunks of porcelain. Remember, you really want to thoroughly mix 
And the, the, the more powdery the material, the better. I had a little bit of difficulty smashing down the material to a nice powdered consistency. So I still have some little, some little chunks I need to work out. There, it's getting nice and creamy. It has a beautiful clay like consistency. Okay, you can see I can already hold it. At this point, you can make decisions on how big of a pencil or crayon you want to use. Totally depends on what you want to do. By rolling it, you're sort of compressing the platelets into themselves. It's going to actually like make it a little bit stronger. You can always sharpen it later, but I always like to start with a little tip. This is awful big, I think I can cut this into two. And this one I'm going to leave nice and thick. Be more like a charcoal, big hunk of charcoal. Now these are dried and fired. Regular bis temperature, if you bis to 1800 degrees, it's going to feel pretty hard. You have to push a little bit harder and it's going to um, be a little bit less material is going to come off. Um, but if you want to really use it more of a pastel, you're going to want to maybe only bis fire to 1400, 1500 degrees, which would be closer to 014, 012 temperature. You can always shoot me an email if you have any questions. I'm going to go ahead and bis fire these and give them a test. Happy pencil making. <laughs>